I think I found my favorite roadside sleeping spot. I'm on a trip so far. Look at this. Look at how awesome that is. Oh, these are the Eastern Sierras. There is a Indian uh, casino slash truck stop over here. They got cheap gas because they uh, I don't have to pay the California sales tax. But look at how amazing this is. Wow. I mean, last night it was packed with trucks. You can see the, uh, the tire marks. But this morning it's just me and Lucas and and the beauty, the nature, <laughs> the snow-covered hills. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put some gas in Dan the Thirsty Adventure Bus, hit the road while Lucas is sleeping, and then attack Mammoth like it's never been attacked before. Hey Bobby, why do you like soul food? Because it makes me happy. still smells we have to uh, roll down the windows in the back and uh, sport back there is freezing his butt off because it's like 50 degrees so we get the windows down also got the heat on but uh, it really doesn't compensate for the cold air coming in so uh, as long as it as long as we don't get gassed out I think we'll be all right competition on the road here <laughs> all right we were in a uh, bishop we uh, stopped for some breakfast at uh, some world place Shat's bakery I hope it doesn't make me shat when I'm done oh nice damn it smells good in here uh-oh uh-oh sport you see what I see I see samples That's delicious. Sport, you gotta try this, man. Mm. A place with good samples is my kind of place here. Okay, fine, I'll eat both. Oh. I'll put this down. And So we just got our sandwiches, by the way. They don't like if you take uh, pictures inside here for some strange reason. I guess they don't know about social media. So anyways, uh, great, great spot for sandwich, but do not take pictures inside the bakery. All right, looks like we're gonna go uh, have some uh, some huevos at Jack's. <laughs> not to be confused with Jack's. I just got a good looking omelet. Sport over here has got five eggs. Just a standard breakfast for this guy. <laughs> All right, we are back on the road. We got uh, about an hour and a half to go. That spot right there is my favorite, favorite place when I'm coming up uh, Highway 395 in Bishop. Mahogany Smoke Meats. It's incredible. They have like a gigantic selection of uh, uh, jerkies and sandwiches. They got bacon in their uh, potato salad. It's awesome. wants 40 bucks to put chains on um, he's a uh, he's a really nice guy but I'm a man I can put on my own chains what do you think sport we should give it a shot <laughs> there we go should give it a shot so anyways uh, 
I'm kind of regretting the fact that I sent back the that old metal rampy thing for just this job because now it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Ah, chains are all the way in there. Pulling out the kicks. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm pulling the horizontal out. All right. I'm gonna start from the middle. Hold on, I'm going to get down on my knees. <laughs> right, because you see the kink, you're going to see the kink. You see, yeah. don't do nothing, watch. Yeah. The kink is right here. <laughs> but I'm going to start from over here. I'm going to yank it out. I'm going to have to shake it out. And I always like to shake the one that doesn't have the button first. Uh -huh. See how I'm pulling it out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See the difference now? You see how they're all hanging yeah, nice and Yeah, straight? yeah. If you have any problems, it's always going to be at the hook. Uh-huh. We'll take it off. And just shake it out. So, so Chris, a good uh, San Diego guy, grew up down the street from, from where I grew up, and uh, this is a good. Uh, this is worth the money right here, oh, just man, to learn how to do it. Man, the lesson alone is worth it. So look at how I'm shaking out now. It's nice and nice. See oh that? yeah. All right, yeah. now they're all hanging straight. So the hook goes on this end. So I'm going to flop it around like that, and we're going to check to make sure it's all hanging straight. Great it over here. You're not going to run it over. Most people think. It's uh -huh. You run it over, that's ridiculous. Okay. When, when chains fit properly, yeah. a cross link should fit here uh -huh. and one here. You got actually one more too many too many cross links. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll be right back. We we're in luck because you know what? If uh, Chris wasn't here to uh, explain, and not only explain, but help put them on and, and, and customize a fit, I'd be up a creek without a paddle. So uh, I think we're going to have to pay this guy for sure. He's uh, This is his job. He works in the wintertime, puts on chains, you know. Got to support small businesses. Chris, thank you so much. So Chris said to put your uh, rubber tighteners next to the heater right here to warm them up so when you get them outside, they're nice and soft and more pliable. I trust him. He looks like he's put on quite a few chains in his days. Those are what you want to have for backup. Okay. All right, always carry an extra set of these. All right, why is that? Because if those break, then you have an extra set. Okay. And yours are getting warm right now. Yeah, mine are getting warm like you said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I need a driver in the seat. All right, cool. Put the window okay. down so you can hear what I say. All right. Luke is going to jump inside and uh, he's going to listen to Chris. It's going to be a real gnarly one because you got Julius, but we'll be all right. All right. Can you hear me? And you're always watching for cars that are going to run into you. All right, cool. That's really important. All right. All right. Driver, can you hear me? Yeah. I want you to go slowly forward. Don't peel out until I say stop. Go forward. Keep going. Go ahead. More, 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 more stop. Okay, so now I just took all the slack up. Yep, you sure did. So now I'm going to get inside here and I'm going to try to size it. So when you buy chain link chains, everybody, don't believe what Napa tells you. They're not going to fit unless they get custom fit like I do. You need to practice this in your driveway before you even come up here. That's what most people do. Alright, so pretend it now it fits. Yep. So we're just gonna hook the hook to the very last link. Okay, okay. And you can just lift it up. Yep. I don't even need to, don't even need to get on the ground, so I'm looking. Right, so you're taking that little hook and you're putting it into the no, last that's one. There. Now we got the lever here. I'm gonna take the slack up a little bit. Uh-huh. Square them up. You got tires so they'll fit right in the wedges, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I had these auto tightening uh, things yeah. before. Okay. Nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just cut the other chain. That's a pretty good fit. Now with the tensions, it'll tighten it up. I see, Chris is the man. <laughs> Learning so much. This is so uh, rad, man. Yeah, man. You get these are three for five dollars at Kmart. Nice. You get yourself a little mat, and as long as your chains fit, you can do this yourself. Well, you gotta practice in your driveway. It's like the ultimate Before lesson here. <laughs> Before you leave, because when you're in the snow and the wind and the dark, yep. and there's nobody like us out here, you're screwed. Yep. I tell you all, everybody that's listening, when you got a nice truck like this with big tires and lots of clearance, these are better, but they do need to be cut. And I'm guaranteeing, nine times out of ten, these chains need to be cut. If you're not driving a lot in the snow, get cable chains. They're so much easier to put on. All right. If you have a Mercedes or a Beamer, don't drive it up here. We're in a four-wheel drive. All right, so we got chains installed. This is looking good. Chris over there working on another car. We got uh, the end the adventure bus. <laughs> All chained up and looking good. Pretty excited, man. 
This is uh now I hope there is snow on the ground ahead and that we actually need these things because I see a lot of cars driving by. Well, hello beautiful. We are uh, on the road with the chains as you can probably hear. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we got a few miles till we get to Mammoth Mountain. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Made friends with Chris. Yo, thank you so much. You're an awesome dude and I knew you were from San Diego just from the way that you spoke. Um, super helpful guy, got a great lesson and custom, well, yeah, custom fitted uh, for my tires because, you know, I didn't know they had to be cut. So if you guys don't know this, you need to find somebody to install these unless you have the cheap little cable ones like I used to have for years and years, which work occasionally. These are heavy duty for a big truck. Anyways, it's a mammoth we go. So I just had a little Chevy Malibu pass me, no chains. I got chains and we got clear roads right now, so I'm hoping that uh, we ha we actually need these things because you know we spent a lot of time and, and money on this. So, <laughs> well, pretty close to snow, but still not exactly snow yet. Still waiting for the moment of truth. Here we go, guys. This is why we put chains on. Chris was right. These are uh, snow-covered roads here. So it is a speed limit of 25 while you got chains on, I believe. There's a 35 there, a 25 right there, blinking. I am so happy that I have chains on because the last thing on earth I want to do is crash Dan the Adventure Bus. You can have your pot and pills if that's your mode, but I get my high from smoking soul, oh yeah. I get up with it, down with it, love it, and can't quit it. Right on, I'm the best that ever did it. And got it. Wow, look at all the layers of snow on the roof, man. There's like six feet of snow on the roofs over here. <laughs> Dan the adventure bus and uh, the mammoth uh, animal, but he's uh, a little snowed in right now. <laughs> Seems like black and yellow is uh, the theme. Yo, what's up? You need a lift ticket? Are you selling one? No, I'll just give it to you. Uh, today's my lucky day. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> the free lift ticket? You're my new favorite dude. I just got offered a lift ticket by what is your name? Stefan. Stefan? Jax. Jax. Nice so nice to meet, to meet you. you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, red. Awesome. <laughs> what? Wait, that's, you just popped out of nowhere. If they ask, you're Stefan. All right, right on. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm Stefan for the day. <laughs> how, how hilarious is that? I literally you know just turned on the camera. Stefan did look like a Santa. Oh, man, that's so he, funny. He gifted you. Bro, thanks. I appreciate it. Here we go, the moment of truth. The gondola time. We gotta see if this uh, ticket works. There we go. I don't know, I think it worked. Thank you, sir. World-class service over here at Mammoth Mountain. Gotta say. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Whew. <laughs> oh man, last time I was here was uh, last year with the uh, tsunami. Miss that little rascal. It's so nice out here. It's just freaking perfect, soft, excellent conditions. Isn't it? Nice. Is this the first time uh, you've been snowboarding yeah. since that uh, little girl took you out on the uh, ice skating rink? Hey, it was a uh, skydiving accident. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is revealed. <laughs>
It's so awesome to be out here, man. I know. The snow is so amazing. Whew. <laughs> my, uh, my legs are getting tired. Mine too. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. I'm like, it's so soon. <laughs> Run number two, and we're both tired. Just goes to show you, this requires special, special muscles. And if you don't use those muscles for a while, you're gonna get tired real quick. After a little break, the uh, camera got a little frozen up, so uh, we grabbed some soup and uh, minestrone, chicken noodle. Then we're gonna hit the mountain again. And we're back. The camera got a little frozen and turned off. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, we just finished up, changed obviously, into some comfy clothes. <clears throat> I don't know what we're doing now, but we're heading back towards the uh, town, the village. Uh, for sure, we're going to end up over at the Hot Springs tonight and sleep there. Uh, it's uh, BLM Land, not Black Lives Matter, Bureau of Land Management. It is uh, federal government land, and the beautiful thing about it is that anyone is welcome to go on it at any time and uh, it is uh, I think you can stay up to like 14 days in the same spot I keep hearing different days but anyways it's a great thing it is owned by you it is owned by me it is owned by everyone that is a citizen of this country and uh, go use it it's your land we uh, drove down a bit we're back at uh, the Schatz place um, let's see if I get harassed about having a camera in this one you will oh wow Oh, oh man, it's nice and warm in here. Yes. Well, sandwiches are closed, but uh, you know, this is a spot to come. Thank you. <laughs> this is a spot to come for a good sandwich and even better bread, because the bread really does make a sandwich. Also, the soup's pretty good too. Holy white Christmas. All right, we are parked at the Springs. I'm gonna leave you guys here in the car. As you can see, it is still snowy outside. Um, Bumped into some cool people, they kind of told us which way to go. Um, it's freezing outside, the camera will not operate out there in the cold. So, I've had an amazing day. I will catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>